Throughout the centuries, there have been many horrific executions performed across different lands, but some in Britain that were so sadistic was the execution of children. Many were brought to the gallows throughout the years for their involvement in many different crimes, from theft to murder and arson. At places such as Tyburn, people took their final breaths, but one of the most shocking executions in history is of Hannah Okuish, a 12-year-old girl who it's believed had a learning difficulty, who in New London, Connecticut, was condemned for the murder of a six-year-old girl. But what is the story of this? Join us today as we look at the horrific execution of the 12-year-old American girl. And remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Much of Hannah Okuish's life was written about in a sermon titled God Admonishing His People of Their Duty, a sermon occasioned by the execution of Hannah Okuish, a mixed girl aged 12 years and 9 months. In this it shows the racial prejudice she had to deal with at her early life, and she was characterised as a scary and violent criminal, who even at the age of six almost killed someone during a robbery. It was said, as the public may wish to be informed more particularly respecting the criminal, Hannah Okuish, than they have been, we have collected the following particulars, which it may not be improper to annex as an appendix to the preceding discourse. She was born at Groton. Early in life she discovered the maliciousness and cruelty of her disposition, as appears from the following fact, which was represented in evidence before the grand jury. When about six years old, she with a brother about two years older than herself, meeting a little girl at a distance from the neighbourhood, they endeavoured to get away with her clothes and gold necklace, which she had on. After beating the child until they almost killed her, they stripped her and disputing about the division of the clothes, the child recovered, and getting away came home, covered in blood. The affair was immediately examined into, and the select men of the town concluded to bind them both out. Their mother, who is of the Pequot tribe of Indians, is an abandoned creature, much addicted to the vice of drunkenness. She, it seems, not liking to have the girl bound out, brought her away and left her at a house, about three miles from the city of New London, promising to return in a few days and take her away. But she did not return till after several months, when urging the family to keep her longer, they at length consented. She continued in this family until she was apprehended for the crime, for which she was executed. Her conduct has appeared in evidence before the Honourable Superior Court, was marked with almost everything bad. Theft and lying were her common vices. To these were added a maliciousness of deposition, which made the children in the neighbourhood much afraid of her. She had a degree of artful cunning, beyond many of her years. In short, her mind wanted to be properly instructed, and her deposition to be corrected. The victim in Hannah Okuish's crimes was six-year-old Eunice Bowles, who was a daughter of a wealthy farmer. She was found dead on the 21st of July 1786, and Okuish was then questioned, and she claimed there were four boys who were involved. But these could not be found, and then she confessed to her crimes. It was said that, on the 21st of July 1786, at about 10 o'clock in the morning, the body of the murdered child was found in a public road, leading from New London to Norwich, lying on its face near to the wall. The neighbourhood turned out to hunt for the murderer. Hannah was questioned and claimed that she had seen four boys near to the scene of the crime. When a search failed to turn them up, Hannah was interrogated again, and she was taken to the Bowles' home to be charged with homicide in the presence of the dead child. She burst into tears and confessed. Only at this late point in the narrative is the reader offered a sequential account of the crime. Five weeks earlier, Eunice had reported Hannah for stealing fruit during the strawberry harvest, and Hannah had plotted revenge. Catching sight of her young enemy, headed for school one morning, Hannah had lured Eunice from her path with a gift of calico, then beat and choked her to death. The day after the murder, she confessed, and was arrested and was indicted by a grand jury for murder. The only evidence against Hannah was her confession, which was never corroborated and was just taken as truth. She could have been coerced into confessing and may have been subjected to unfair treatment. Her confession stated she had baited Bowles and beat her to almost death with a rock before she strangled her and then tried to stage an accident. Hannah Okuish pleaded not guilty and allegedly at trial was unfazed and calm and it's likely she did not know what was happening. But the court found her guilty. The judge said the sparing of you on account of your age would, as the law says, be a dangerous consequence for the public, 
by holding up an idea that children might commit such atrocious crimes, and with this Hannah was sentenced to death. The fact she was young and had a disability did not mitigate anything, and they just wanted swift justice to be imposed upon her. Whilst inside of prison awaiting her execution, she became incredibly anxious and spent her final days in tears. She was brought to a gallows and she thanked the sheriff for his kindness as the executioner placed a noose around her neck from the gallows. Onlookers said she appeared greatly afraid and seemed to want someone to help her, but then as a man pulled down on the rope wrapped around her neck, she was hanged and was executed. She was just 12 when she was executed on the 20th of December 1786 in front of the crowd in New London and remains one of the youngest people ever sentenced to death. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.